Hello everyone. Welcome to Insurance Education YouTube channel. I am Raymond McMillan. In my last video, I did mention that today I'd like to talk a bit more about the ABI. It stands for the Association of British Insurers. It's the largest market association for insurers you would find in the world. In the UK, there are about 250 members of the association, most being UK insurers. But you also have foreign insurers who operate in the UK. They are members of this association. As we know, there are strengths in numbers. Therefore, the ABI speaks as one voice for the insurance, the insurers in regard to government policy. It represents the interests of its members, not only in the UK, but in the EU and internationally as well. It does some very good work. For instance, it's helped standardize let's, the Employers Liability Act, where the law, when the act came into being, says you must have at least £5 million of employers liability cover if you're a business of unemploying persons in the industry here. But the market now gives you £10 million across the board. That takes away where one insurer this year gives you five million, you change insurance companies, the next one gives you six. And um, you may have been getting 10 from another insurer and it goes down to five because that's what the law says. I must say, when it comes to terrorism, the market has agreed that they would stick with what the law says and you only get five million pounds for terrorism. It provides that support there. How else does the... ABI helped the industry? Well, they represent the interests of the insurers against government policy. For instance, I mentioned last week about the insurance premium tax where the ABI is lobbying the government to look at it again because they think it's unfair on the ordinary consumers, the amount that they're being asked to pay. The, the ABI also helps in the area of uh, technology and research. I was very pleased to know that research is, being, is taking place now where even the fire doors are constructed to the extent to withstand a fire up to uh, an hour, even the ceilings. And I'm very pleased as well when it comes to motor vehicles. There's an area where they would test the, vehicle, the new vehicles with the seat, the, the, the seat the, the headrest to ensure to see what impact it, what, it can uh, the impact of that, the, the, an accident and someone hitting the headrest. And they make recommendations in that area. It's an area called Thatcham in the UK that that type of testing is done. Fraud is an issue in the insurance industry and the ABI have created some bodies. For example, there's one called the CUE, which is the Claim and Underwriting Exchange. And what that covers is if you have a household insurance and you're changing insurers, the insurer you're going to, they would have the right to check their database to ensure that the facts you are given them are correct. And then if you're saying that there are no claims, they can quickly find that out by checking that database. There's another international body called the Art Loss Register. There was a time in the UK, there was a lot of art, valuable pieces being stolen. What the ABI did, well, they set up the Art Lot Register. It's an international register and the police, the custom officers, they would have access to that register to check for items leaving or entering a country to ensure that they don't appear stolen on that register. There are two main councils in the ABI. One is the General Insurance Council, but there's also the Life Insurance Council as well. The strength in numbers. I want to ask you, in your own territory, have you got an insurance association? If you do, is it functioning? I want to challenge you in 2021 to ask questions in your own territory to ensure you have a body that represents the interests of insurers in your country. The reason why I say this, I have some examination students where in their territory, the Road Traffic Act, if they should, someone should get killed on the road because of the negligence of another party, whatever the Act allows you to claim <laughs> is a lot less than the cost of the 
actual casket to bury the person. That shouldn't be. The act needs to be revised and that's where you as an association, as one body representing the insurance industry in your territory, can look at that and ask questions of the authorities and lobby that this be looked at because it's, it's crazy. I have students in another territory where they've been collecting monies for years in respect of the in respect of premium tax and the intention of that was to go toward providing some type of compensation for individual who should get injured on a road or or should get killed on a road and ladies and gentlemen nothing has been done and there are a lot of money in the fund and it's not being used to assist the innocent victims of the road that goes against the act. Why have a road traffic act to prevent individuals getting injured and going without compensation? Have a fund and nothing is being done for years. I think an effective association can help change that situation in your own territory. What about if you don't have one, but you would like to speak as one voice to your regulators, to your government, and international bodies on behalf of your own territory. If you're struggling or you need some advice how to go about that, we'd be pleased to provide that with for you. Just email us at training at sbnhumancapital.com training at sbnhumancapital.com I promise you we would look into it for you and provide you guidelines how you can take the next steps in your own territory. I hope this was helpful to you. Next week, I would like to talk about the, another effective association called BIBA, the British Insurance Brokers Association. And at the same time, you're thinking of your own territory. Have you got such an association in your territory? How effective is it? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. If you'd like to be the first to be notified of my next video, <clears throat> excuse me, Click the notification button above and I'd be pleased to send you notification as soon as the video is ready. Also, if you think this channel and what you've heard this morning is helpful to you, why not subscribe? We always appeal to you to support our efforts. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.